Are you an e-commerce store owner struggling to turn website visitors into paying customers? Stick around. I'm gonna show you how HubSpot's email marketing tool can turn all of those visitors into loyal buyers. Hi, I'm Angel and this is How to HubSpot. By the way, it's completely free to get started with HubSpot's Marketing Hub. So if you wanna follow along, you can check out HubSpot's free email marketing tools by clicking the links in the description below. One of the most important pieces of information that you have as an e-commerce business is your customer's purchasing data. The data collected from your store can tell you their purchasing behavior, what they bought, what your best sellers are, and how much money you've made. HubSpot has a ton of integrations built for e-commerce businesses so that you can pull in any data that you need to create the perfect segmentation list for your marketing campaigns. Whether you use Shopify or WooCommerce, process through Stripe or Square, you can get it synced into HubSpot. Let's take my online mug shop for muggles only as an example. We wanna use Shopify and Stripe, so let's find those in the app marketplace. To go to the app marketplace, you just have to go to the upper nav bar in the upper right-hand corner, find the little shop icon, and then under that, you will find the app marketplace. Installing an integration is really easy. You just have to look it up in app marketplace, click install app, and then HubSpot will actually take you through a series of steps to get you set up and to make sure that the settings are to your liking. Now, the key to success with any marketing campaign is making sure that you are reaching the right audience, which is why segmentation is super important. Using the information brought in by your integrations, you can start creating segmentation lists that are based on your customer's data. To do this, we're gonna go under CRM and then go to the lists page. We're gonna hit create list to create a new list. You can pick what you wanna segment by whether that's by contact, by cart records, by company, by deals, or by something else. And then you want to give your list a name. So we're going to do purchased from muggles only shop. The really cool thing about HubSpot is that they actually have a list assistant, which can help you build a segmentation list with suggested filters based on a description that you give it. So we can do something like contacts who purchased in the last 30 days. HubSpot will then find and apply the filters that you need to be able to create a list with this specific information. So you can pick between active and static lists. You can set additional custom properties if you want. And then when you hit next, the list assistant will start looking up filters that work for your specific list. Once you're happy with your filters, you can approve it and then HubSpot will start building out your list. So now that we have our segmented list, we can start building out some automated email campaigns to make our marketing efforts more effective and efficient. HubSpot's email marketing tool makes it really easy for you to create personalized and timely emails that resonate with your customer. So whether you're trying to nurture your leads or re-engage your existing customers, you can do all of that within HubSpot. It really is this powerful tool that allows you to automate your communications with your customers based on their actions. You can do this in two ways. If you wanna start with just an email, we can go over to the marketing tab and then head over to emails to create a new email. Or if you wanna start with building your customer flows, we can go into automations and then workflows to start building your first automation. As an e-commerce business, some important email campaigns that you should have right off the bat are your welcome emails, your abandoned cart emails, your product recommendation emails, and then a loyalty and upsell email. For my mugs business, let's start with a welcome flow. So we're gonna click create workflow and then you can choose whether you wanna do this by scratch or with one of HubSpot's pre-built templates. I always Always go with from template because it just makes my job as a marketer so much easier. So you can go through the templates to find one that works for you. We're gonna search for a welcome series. Since you're using a template, it'll automatically create the trigger for you. But if you want to change that, you can just hit the box. You can either add criteria to the existing criteria or you can hit change automatic trigger type, which will allow you to pick a different trigger type for that welcome series. Now it's time for us to create our first email. So we're gonna hit that first email box. We're gonna go to the drop down and then click create new email. You can actually start writing the email right from here, but I like to pull up their email tool just so I have more real estate for me to actually craft the perfect email. Again, you can always start from scratch and use their simple template, but I'm gonna start with the welcome template. I personally love HubSpot's What You See Is What You Get or WYSIWYG editor because it just feels super intuitive to use. So if I want to edit something, I just have to click that specific thing that I want to edit and then it'll pull up a side menu for you to make all the adjustments that you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the logo. I'm gonna add my For Muggles Only logo into here. That looks way better. 
For the actual email copy itself, HubSpot actually has some really amazing smart AI features that will help you craft the perfect email. So when you click into the body copy of the email, you can actually scroll over to this little star icon and click collaborate with Copilot. I'm gonna click generate paragraph. So it'll actually generate a new paragraph for me and then I'm gonna fill in the prompt. So it says generate a paragraph about welcoming customers to our mug shop for muggles only in the style of friendly. Then you just have to click send and then Copilot will start creating this paragraph for you. Love that. We're gonna click insert and that will automatically bring it into the email editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the rest of the copy because I love that copy way more. We can add in an image to make the email more interesting. So I'm just gonna pull in an image there I'm actually going to hit generate with AI and we're going to see if it can pull up a magical mug photo showing a cozy vibe. That is absolutely perfect. So we're going to take this and insert that as well. The Copilot AI feature is built in all throughout the editor. So if you wanna use it to write your subject line, you can do that as well. Hit generate. I like the second one, so I'm gonna insert that one. And then once you're happy with all of that, we can preview the email by going under preview. You can preview it as a contact. So this is what it's gonna look like on desktop. And then this is on mobile. And then just hit review and publish. So now we can go back to that original tab where we were creating the workflow. Click that email box again, and then you'll be able to select that new email that we just created. And voila, you now have a welcome email in your welcome flow. So once that email is set, you can go in and work on the rest of your workflow. You can add as many emails as you want to this workflow. I would recommend introducing your social media platforms in the next one, and then maybe sending a product recommendations or just a product showcase email after that. You can even add an action, maybe like tagging them or adding them to an additional list for future use. Finally, let's talk about tracking the success of your email campaigns. Once you have your automated emails up and running, it's really easy to monitor their performance. So you can do that under workflows by looking at the analyze page and the health page. The analyze page will give you information on how your automated workflows are doing. So how many enrollments you've had, how many workflows you have live right now. And then it'll even tell you some opportunities of objects or workflows that you could create. The health page more so looks at the overall health of your workflow. So whether there are any workflows that need reviewing or if there's any unused workflows that you can delete. If you want to monitor the email analytics specifically, we can actually go to the marketing tab and head back to email. And here you'll be able to go to the analyze tab to see your click-through rate, to see engagement of your emails, and then the health tab to look at the overall health of the sendability of your email marketing campaigns. Email metrics are really important so that you can continue to improve your workflows. So for example, if your abandoned cart emails are getting a lot of opens, but not a lot of conversions, then you'll know that you need to improve maybe the product photos or the copy or the call to action, because the goal is to always get the customer to purchase something. If you want to start testing these changes, HubSpot actually allows you to AB test your subject lines, your formats, or your offers to see what resonates best with your customer. So you can just go to an email and then hit create A-B test. This way you can always continue to improve your emails and your workflow so that you can drive more sales to your store. Using HubSpot's email marketing tools, you can turn your e-commerce business into a well-oiled machine. Using the customer information, segmentation, automation, and personalization to really help maximize your marketing efforts. Whether you're a small shop or a growing enterprise, these tools are really here to help you save time, engage with your customers, and boost your revenue. So if you haven't already, make sure to start automating your campaigns by using HubSpot's free email marketing tools. You can find all of the links in the description below. I'm Angel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.